President Rodrigo Duterte accepts the nomination of his party, PDP Laban, to run for vice president in the 2022 elections. PDP Laban Executive Vice President and Cabinet Secretary Carlo Nograles announces this in a statement Tuesday, August 24. Nograles says Duterte accepted the endorsement of the party and, quote, agreed to make the sacrifice and heed the clamor of the people. Duterte earlier said he would run for vice president to avoid lawsuits, a claim debunked by lawyers and legal experts. At least three party sources say Duterte announced the decision during a Malacanang meeting with the PDP Laban President and Energy Secretary Alfonso Cusi and other party officials on Monday night. Nograles also announced five senatorial candidates of the ruling party, House of Representatives Deputy Speaker Rodante Marcoleta, Information and Communications Technology Secretary Gregorio Onasan II, Chief Presidential Legal Counsel Salvador Panelo, Transportation Secretary Arthur Tugade, and Public Works and Highways Secretary Mark Villar. PDP Laban earlier endorsed Duterte's most trusted aide, Senator Bongo, to be its presidential bet, but Go has yet to announce his decision. Presidential spokesman Harry Roque on Tuesday, August 24, cites the COVID-19 economic downturn as a reason why the government's anti-insurgency task force should get a 28.1 billion peso budget in 2022. Ito po isang ayon din dun ating, sa ating strategia kung paano tayo babangon galing po dito sa um, pandemya na ito. That is to, to provide more development projects nang sa ganon, mas maraming uh, hanap buhay at mas maraming pipi pera ang iikot sa ating ekonomiya. The National Task Force to End Local Communist Armed Conflict or the NTF LCAC is the government body most associated with red-tagging journalists, activists, charity organizers, and progressive lawmakers. A bulk of these funds requested by the Duterte administration will go to the NTF LCAC's Barangay Development Program, which seeks to reward communist-free barangays. Maski po nandiyan ang pandemya, alam pa rin natin ang kagutuban ang dahilan ng pag-aalsa. Okay? Ito pong mga proyekting ito ay magbibigay hanap buhay doon sa mga nahihirapan sa buhay na dahilan kaya sila nagiging rebelde. Roque says the program deserves billions in funding because it will wean persons in these barangays from communist recruitment campaigns. Critics, including lawmakers, point out that all the barangay-level projects the BDP aims to deliver can be implemented under other programs. Need more context, clarity, and perspective? Get the full picture with Rappler Plus. With exclusive content and events, you'll get an opportunity to discuss issues with reporters, experts, and featured guests while helping Rappler continue its fearless journalism. Join now. A little over a month before the filing of candidacies for the 2022 elections, Vice President Lenny Robredo on Monday, August 23, launches a podcast to show what she considers a more candid and relatable side of her. The first episode of the Lenny Robreda podcast features television host Bianca Gonzalez, who also featured the vice president in her own YouTube show called Legends Only just two weeks ago. Robredo is packaging the podcast as a safe space where her listeners can relax and listen to her interview personalities with whom she has shared experiences, like being a woman and a mother. In this space, relax lang. Pwedeng sumandal at tumawa. Safe space kung saan pwede tayong magpakatotoo. Kaya halika, magkwentuhan tayo. The launch of the Lenny Robredo podcast comes at a critical time in the run-up to the high-stakes 2022 polls that would elect President Rodrigo Duterte's successor. Sony officially releases the first teaser trailer for Spider-Man No Way Home, the third Spider-Man film in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. The movie begins where 2019 Spider-Man Far From Home left off. Spider-Man's real identity as Peter Parker's exposed, and seeking the help of Doctor Strange to turn back time and undo the revelation. Tom Holland reprises his role as Spider-Man, and so does Benedict Cumberbatch as Doctor Strange. Spider-Man No Way Home hits U.S. theaters in December 2021. Its release date in the Philippines has yet to be announced. Folk band Ben & Ben reunites with pop group SB19 for another musical collaboration. The song featuring SB19 will be the sixth and final collaboration of Ben & Ben for their upcoming sophomore album Pebble House Vol. 1 Quaderno. Ben & Ben and SB19 first teamed up for MAPA, band version, released in June. MAPA is a digital single by SB19 released in May. 
Other artists Ben and Ben is collaborating with for their upcoming album are Chito Miranda, Juan Carlos, Zield, and Casey Tandingan. Ben and Ben earlier released two of their collaborations from the album Pasalubong with Moira de la Torre and Sugat with Muni Muni. Pebble House No. 1 Cuaderno will be released on August 29.